Well, I'm going to start off this little uh, <coughs> video by showing you what I've made before I actually go into most people show you how you make it but they don't show you what they're making so this is what you're actually going to make if you make one of these and they're so simple they're ridiculous but I saw them on the web uh, on YouTube actually and I thought they were really good uh, they're a little bit different to this because these were um, these were made for soap boxes and the other one was that I saw from the Gale was made from uh, the same materials but it was made for a, a candle one of them candles, what they call a pillar candle and uh, this is a finished product and uh, what I've got is these are sealed up because they're ready to go These they're not ready to go, I can't really unpack them again and uh, they've got the ingredients on the side, it's got jasmine inside and etc uh, etc et and who's it to on the back and things like that and it's got bits and pieces inside and it's got a little logo which I made and uh, it's made by Avery Labels Design Pro 5 which is free you can get it off the net for free and the girls will show you how to operate that because I learned from them <laughs> they showed me and uh, what you make is two lids really so you, you measure your soap up put your soap in like so and then you put the other lid on the top which makes your box so that's all there is to it two pieces like that and little scraps of paper and etc etc so and the labels on the front are made by uh, a little dymo which I bought they're about 40 odd quid I think them and uh, it bangs out all sorts of things for me different labels and different this and different that and the reason I like it a lot is because it's um, they're waterproof the labels are not uh, they're not uh, bubble jet printed these are bubble jet printed obviously um, um, but but they um, they will they will smudge if you get them wet but these won't these only they're only affected by light so they go uh, sort of uh, I don't know they disappear after if you leave them in light because they're, they're a heat they're a heat uh, they're put on by heat so that's all I've really got to say so that's the beginning bit of the your adventure <laughs> and uh, I wish you all the best and I'll show you quickly uh, how to make it and um, yeah I'll stop there and let you carry on and you can see how I've done it well I threw you through the, the net the other day and uh, well through YouTube and I found this um, this girl who was doing um, candle candle boxes I, I love boxes and she was doing candle boxing I thought wow that's brilliant I like the way she done that and uh, I'm not taking any credit for any of it because uh, I watched what she did and uh, I didn't exact well I have copied her in a way I suppose in every way <laughs> but uh, she made a candle holder and what I'm making is a soap box because at the moment I'm making soaps and these are a bunch that I've just I've just done and uh, I'm not doing anything particular with them this is just a, a blue soap uh, with jasmine in and this is jasmine and mick and uh, musk uh, with um, a white and uh, yellow mix in it I don't know what it'll look like when it gets to the middle I've, I, I haven't been too I am too good at soap making at the moment I'm just starting so I'm not really showing you what I do about soaps because I'm not I'm no good at soap making at all really <laughs> my friend said he liked his soap but there wasn't enough smell in it I sent him some shaving soap and he said he liked it but I've got to be very careful about what I put in because um, shaving soaps are really on your skin I mean they stay on your skin for a while and anything else like fragrances and things like that can uh, can do certain things and he says don't leave them on the skin too long and don't do this and don't do that and use very little and so I did use a little and uh, it must have it must have flashed off when I put it on anyway that's what I want to talk about what I've done is these soaps so these are the soaps that I've done and uh, 
I did a couple of other bars, but I thought these would be a bit big yet. They, they, these are my... Um, uh, oh, <laughs> these are a bit of a mess as well. I haven't done them properly. But anyway, I'm going to move them out the way because I need the room to show you what I've been doing. It's the box to put the soaps in to finish the thing off. And... Um, <laughs> What I've made is, I'm going to show you the finished product. That's the soap, one of my soaps, and it looks it looks quite nice in the box. And uh, I haven't finished the boxes yet. I'm just what I usually do. I usually forget what I'm doing, and I don't make a video of anything at all. But that's a little soap box, and what I've done is a little lid which isn't finished yet. I've got to do the inside of that, like the same as I've done the insides on these. Um, and it'll go on the top like so and I've got to put a label on and you'll have a finished product I might put a bow on it and things like that so I don't know what what you think to that um, but uh, I was quite pleased with it so what I'm going to do is that this they're still wet then the lid on that and uh, these boxes are dry and these were made for a little present for somebody and I wanted to put them in, in something nice. I've got a name on there and everything. It's quite tiny. And I've turned them around so you can't see who it is. And um, so that's that's the two soaps in the boxes. And there's the lid. And what I'm going to show you is how I make the lid. So when I show you the lid, you'll see how the box is made. Because the box and the lid are exactly the same thing, except the, the lid is a bit bigger than the, than the box, that's all. They're both the same thing and one fits into the other like that. And uh, I just can't remember the girl who did it on the internet. But what I've done here, I've got um, I'll just take the bits off. Wait a minute. So that's for that one. I'll be needing them all again in a minute. I like to get everything ready before I start. And uh, so that's that. And that's the top for that the box lid. And I've marked that box because that's smaller than this. The lid is a little bit bigger, obviously, than the box. But at the moment, I'm going to make a lid to, to finish off one of the soaps there. So I'll move it out of the way. Oh, and the two colours that I used, I've got a green, and, and you can buy the it's Christmas tree green, I think that is, but I put black. I like the colour, and it isn't black, and it isn't. It, 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 it's very, um, it's very appealing, very eye-catching, and it's a nice Christmassy-looking colour. And these have probably been made for Christmas anyway. I mean, they'll probably be used for, to to do as Christmas presents or something like that. And I put green and black together, and these are just acrylic paints. And I'll move them out of the way now, and I mix them both together in a little lid off one of my uh, underarm sprays and I mix the right colour and uh, put a little bit of water in to keep it moist and I'm ready to flash off and uh, the cards are made with pieces of paper um, got from somewhere I've got some other colours and I've been messing about with colours what to, what colours to do with what and uh, things and I'm using a one millimetre card I mean you can use what you like but I think this she had chintz like a chintz or a, a highland um, pattern on it and which looked good on hairs which I thought was good I think this is a chintz what they call chintz but all I've done is I, I measured it up and then cut it just to the underside of that and then went down it with me little alpha knife I'm showing you this but I use an alpha knife really or a pair of scissors and you cut down then you cut it to size and then you make sure it fits just inside the dimensions about an eighth of an inch all the way around so as you can see that colour around the outside there on this one like you can see that and all I've done on that one I've put my little I've got a little punch here but you can use a nail clipper if you want you can, nail clippers will do the same thing if you put nail clippers on it will do the same thing if you haven't got one of them punches and uh, yeah and then I cut the smaller ones to do the sides to do these and then cut them to length and then I've got them ready so I'm ready to do the to do the lid so that's that's me ready and uh, 
This is what I'm using for the inside of the box. Um, so I'd probably measure that up, something like that, and then make an inside in. But I'm just going to do a quick thing here. This I'm not going to do anything sort of flashy or anything. It's just to show you what uh, how you how you make the lid. So I've got four pieces of, of, of uh, card, one millimetre card. That's all. I've been using my offcuts. I saved all these little bits and pieces. They all come in handy, and I, I just cut it to size, the size of the soap actually. So you get a bar of soap. Um, like so and you put the bar of soap on it like so and then you uh, this will be a bit bigger than than normal obviously and you would do the the uh, the bottom of the box first and then you mark around it with your pencil and give yourself a little bit of leeway so that the soap will fit in don't forget the if you put in the uh, paper on or uh, cling film or whatever it will stick out slightly so make sure you go to the outsides of that and then draw a line around it and cut off the excess and then check the height like so and go to the top of the soap mark it and then cut to size it, it's so easy it's ridiculous I mean I, I don't want to teach you how to suck eggs and um, and the reason I've marked everything lid, lid, box, box, because I do three or four things at a time. And while I'm doing it, I um, I get mixed up with the pieces. So if they're not marked, I will glue the wrong pieces together. It's, it's quite easy to do. So anyway, once you've got the, the four pieces that you require, what you do is you get a bit of masking tape. You don't need any glue. The girl did it without glue. And uh, you lay it down on a flat surface. And you... Stick a bit on like that, that's all. And what I use is my knife to get accuracy, but I mean you don't have to, you can use scissors or whatever you like. Or you can just tear it if you want. But I like to make it sure it's accurate before I even start. And I get rid of the bits. And I find my bin. Oh. I'll just bring my bin back in. I haven't got a lot, I keep saying I haven't got a lot of room, but I, I can't seem to move here. <laughs> and you do the same on the on the top. All four sides. You don't have to be too careful. The cleaner you are, the better it the better it'll look later. But it doesn't matter because it's it's quite thin this stuff. It's only ordinary masking tape. It's not heavy duty or anything, it's just ordinary masking tape. I can't say any more than that. It's, if you buy it from the pound shop, you'll get just about what you want because it's so so non-sticky, it's ridiculous. You don't want it too sticky anyway. I obviously you take a little bit more care than I am. But uh, I say this stops you using glue if you don't want to use glue or you, you don't you can't be bothered or you want to do something quick. Just lift it up, turn it over, and then what you do is you put your your pieces on at an angle, you can leave a little gap if you want, but when you push it down there'll be a little gap left, if you see. If you look there, there's a little gap. Just enough. And you do the same with the other end. Little angle and then push it down. Doesn't matter if you're a little bit out, it's not, it's only a box. It's going to be thrown away eventually. Just enough. I'm trying to hurry because this is so simple it's ridiculous. And I've left certain stages there so as you can see what I'm trying to do. Turn the box over and then what you do is you cut off the, the little off bits here in the corners which you don't need. You can use a pair of scissors if you want or you can tear it or do what you like. But I find it, it, the offer knife's better, you get a smarter cut.
Yeah, you don't want any excess. Although this is quite thin, this uh, this stuff. It's not. Uh, I'm trying to be quick because my things are marathons normally, and the quicker I go, the slower I am. There you are. So now you've got a box which you can put together. If if when you lift it up, the sides don't actually fit, and there's a little bit under or over, that one's a little bit thingy. What I'll do is I'll just take a little bit off that. I've done it for a while, but you can measure if you want, or mark it with your, your ruler. And then cut it to shape, just a little bit. If it isn't square to touch the corners, that's all you do. That's all I do anyway. Yeah, that's okay. And what you do is you do the inside as well. Well, you put a bit on the inside. The girl actually tore hairs off like this. Bit there. Bit there. Yeah, I would take my time normally and do this properly because I'm not I don't do things in a rush in any case, but I am trying to stop you getting bored to tears while I'm doing it. Yeah, rub it all down, turn it over, cut off the excess. Pair of scissors if you want, makes no difference, whatever you prefer. It won't stick in the right places, but if you don't want it to stick, it'll stick everywhere you don't want it to. It's lovely stuff. E. When they do it, when you see other people doing it, they don't have any problems. <laughs> it's amazing. I do. I get all the problems. I mean, knife's always blunt. I've never had a sharp knife yet to do anything with. I put one on, and then ten minutes later, it's blunt. As I'm cutting steel. Okay. Yeah, there we are. And what I do now is take a little bit for each corner. Make sure they're pushed well in, otherwise they'll they'll, they'll spring out again. Well, they're quite strong if you don't uh, exercise them in. This is just to support it while you're going around the box because you're going to go around it again in a minute anyway. Try and keep things away from the top of the box if you can because that's where uh, that's the visible bit. And this will all be covered by the paint anyway, so you won't, there won't be much to see. And there you have it, there's a box. <laughs> it's as quick as that. And then, then what you do is you you paint the box, as you can see there, with your paint, and then you go along with your sticky bits and you stick them on once it's painted, and then you put your things in on the insides, whatever you want to put on the inside, and uh, off you go. It's as quick as that. It's as simple as that. And the finished boxes will look something like that. And I've got the insides with a, a little bit of a different thing on. They're not too they're not too brilliant. I mean they're not 100%. Uh, I've got a few mistakes there where I've been trying to do it, but if you can wait, I, I can't wait. I've got no patience. 
but uh, it's a nice little box and I've got to put a couple of labels on you can put flowers on I've been in I've been in the process of doing flowers but that's that's for another day uh, you make you know, roses to stick on the corner and things like that and you put a ribbon around it and you it's a nice little present for somebody anyway I'll stop there and uh, wish you good luck Thank you.